Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So this will be my review on the Tay Hair products. I do have the products lined up in order by direction. So the caramel treatment, the caramel deep reconstructing treatment says that your hair your hair should be damp before shampooing. So that's why I took my um water bottle and just started wetting my hair. Now, since my hair is super thick, I make sure my hair is damp enough before I put in the uh, caramel treatment. Now, I was never too fond of caramel, not even the candy. And this caramel treatment smells exactly like caramel and it's really sticky like caramel. So, that's probably why my face is like that because I just didn't like the smell of it. But it, you do supposed to leave it in for 20 minutes and or an hour depending on how deep a how deep a treatment you want so I left mine in for about 40 minutes before I just couldn't take the smell anymore now when, when you rinse out this caramel treatment make sure you have like a scalp massager or something that's gonna really get in your scalp and your roots and get the treatment out because if you don't completely rinse out that treatment you will know by the time you start shampooing the shampoo don't really have a smell it don't it just smells like shampoo to me um but when I first put it in in the front I completely got the treatment out but in the middle was where I noticed that my hair was like kind of sticky and matted like the shampoo and the caramel treatment together kind of matted my hair it was just like in the it wasn't in around the edges it was just like in the middle of my head um and I've kind of I slowed down a clip um right here so you guys can see what I mean all that in the middle part was completely matted so I had to use a lot of shampoo just to get that treatment out Now the shampoo says it cleanses, restores, and protects the hair, leaving it soft, manageable, and full of life. After I rinsed out the shampoo, my hair felt super dry and tangled from me trying to get that caramel treatment out while shampooing my hair. So I don't know if it's because I used too much shampoo or what it was but it my hair was completely dried out so I couldn't wait to start using the conditioner now the conditioner says it softens moisturizes and detangles the hair while leaving the na a natural shine so once I applied the conditioner my hair really did get soft so detangling wasn't a big issue for me it was like a four, 10 being the hardest and a one being the easiest. But I did section my hair off in four sections to make the detangling a little bit easier. I also used a good amount of conditioner to detangle my hair, um, but this is the amount of hair that I did lose after I got done detangling all four sections. So I applied my shower cap after deep conditioning and let it sit while I washed the shampoo off my body. I blow dried my hair in four sections using the detangling brush with my blow dryer to get my hair straight enough to flat iron it. Now this is what my hair looked like after I blow dried it. So I took just a small amount of the Tay Butter Shine. And I rubbed it in my hands and put it all over my hair. I set my flat iron on 380 degrees to flat iron my hair. My sections also weren't too small when I was flat ironing my hair. Which is probably why it didn't come out the way I intended it to.
so this is what my hair looked like after I straightened it. It wasn't as straight as I figured it was be. It was more frizzy than I expected. So I put a part in the middle so I can wrap my hair. And I always use a silk scarf to hold my wraps and I kind of just put it around my head and twist it around and then tie it off. And then I use a red tail comb just to make sure that I have all hairs that I missed to push them back into the scarf. So by the next morning my hair was even more frizzy. So I combed through it and then took a hot comb and went over it just to see if it'll straighten it a little bit. <laughs> I got done using the hot comb my hair still wasn't as straight as I wanted it to be so I combed all my hair up because I decided I would just put it in a ponytail so after I got done combing it all up I took a scrunchie and put my hair in a ponytail then I took some eco styling gel and I put it all around my edges. And the reason why I put it in a ponytail first is just so I know exactly where I want my hair to sit while I'm applying the gel and brushing it up. So then once that's done, I remove the ponytail holder and just brush my hair up to make sure it's completely flat. Then after it's flat enough to my liking, I reapply the ponytail, the, the scrunchie. I call them ponytail holders. Um, but I decided to wear it in somewhat like a bun. So I took one section and wrapped it around the ponytail. And I did secure it with bobby pins even though you didn't see it. And then um, I took another, the other section and wrapped it around. And then um, I just brushed up some more to make sure it's just, I don't know, really, really sleek. And then I redefine my edges just to make sure they don't flick out. <laughs> and um, then pull like my little baby hairs out in the front. Then I take that same scarf I used to wrap my hair and I kind of just folded it in the middle um, and just to put it around the pony, well put it around my edges and around the back of my head so um, it can be flat. And I'll kind of let that sit for a good 40 minutes before I took it out. And this is what it came out to look like. So maybe in a few months I'm going to go to a salon and have them re-straighten my hair using these same products. And I'll let you guys know how that goes. But if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And um, let me know what y'all think about this video. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.